the Lord dealt with me in the past three quarter hour and said forget all them and message they put together I said when you talk about the last leg leading my God have mercy my God it's, it's not the same it's not the same hey, it got to talk about the last leg leading my God a lot of great people can't handle the last leg they're on the third leg and second leg even at the end they're still on the second leg but God said <laughs> remind the people that the last leg is different you want it to be the same like when you just came to the church eh? you want it to be the same like 10 years ago come on somebody God said that was good but that can't handle now we don't use gramophone no more we don't use LP record no more Come on, somebody. They were not sinful. They were good. We don't use them no more. She get ready for the last leg. The last leg. Come on. It's where it's going to happen. The last leg is where the finish line is. Nobody get me from the finish line. If I'm going to roll, I'm getting there. Come on, somebody. If you stand in my way, I'm going to knock you down because I'm getting there. Then I'm going to apologize after. Come on, somebody. Because the last leg. Come on, somebody. An old time song. Oh, don't be grieving. Because I'm leaving. Don't cry. When I say goodbye, there'll be no weeping. Ah! Where I'm going to that mansion way down in the sky. This plane I'm riding, they say it's leaving.
I want to move on, but uh, I, 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 I talk in the Holy Ghost. Across the bridge, there'll be no more sorrow. Across the bridge, there'll be no more pain. The sun will shine. Across the river, and I'll never be unhappy. I wish I could, I, I wish I could release my God, this thing is the last leg. That's why the Bible call it the last days. Release me. Let me go. Let me. Release me. Let me go on my last leg. God, my God, my God. Sit down because sit down, sit down. Ow! Shh. Ow! Shh. Don't let nobody stop you on your last leg. Come on, shut up. a moment the last leg is friendless my god of mercy somebody help me ah. oh glory to god for it says in james 4:4 4, 4. leg is friendless church body of Christ man of God woman of God child of God the last leg is friendless the high school friend thing can't work the high school what they call it in the meet together thing, can't work for last leg. You don't answer them much on the last leg. Somebody, oh my God! For it's friendless. For friendship with the world is enmity with God. The last leg, right? This one down is. Kinless. Kinless. <laughs> it means without relations, family. Who only believe in what your family believe in? Who 
and uncomfortable if all your family is not there. I mean good people. I don't mean trouble folks. I mean good folks who want to have your friends everywhere you go. I want to have your family everywhere you go. The last leg is kinless. Hallelujah. Mark 6 4. But Jesus said unto them, A prophet is not without honor, but in his own country and among his own kin and in his own house. Did you hear that? You will get all the honor from the Philippines when they say them thank you. Come on and send them thank and say, Thank God somebody saw it before it happened. You will get thanks from far away, but not in your country, not from your kin or from your house. So, what are you looking for it for? With a damaging your your motivation for, with a damaging your inspiration for, what all year you're planning to 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 impress your uncle for, come on somebody, or impress your older sister for, come on somebody. The last leg ain't that. The last leg is friendless, and the last leg is. Thank God for those in the family who will recognize the hand of God on your life. They are double special. But it's skinless. The last leg is treacherous. It means betrayal will be the order of that time in your life. Mark 13, 12. Now the brother shall betray the brother to death and the father betrayed his son and the children shall rise up against their parents and shall cause them to be put to death the last leg will be treacherous betrayal will be the order of the day yes yes you'll do your best for them then they'll betray you Don't give up. It's the last leg. It comes with the last leg. If you can't handle betrayal, you can't handle the last leg. If you expect everybody who you walk and talk with to stand with you, then you're not on the last leg. In the last leg, every second person gonna betray you, gonna lie on you. My God of mercy, gonna undermine you, gonna malign you, gonna castigate you. But Jesus says that if they persecuted me, uh, they persecuted the master. If they accuse the master, then who are you? Come on, somebody. My God, 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 God. This is the last leg. This is the last leg. This is the last leg. It is friendless. It is kinless. It is treacherous. But it is victorious. You ain't saying amen. You ain't saying amen. Come on, they're all behind you on the track. Come on, somebody. It's the last leg. I lost somebody here. Glory to God. God, he says, the righteous shall all always triumph in Christ. Come on, somebody. Isaiah 59, verse 19. When the enemy shall come in like a flood. Come on, help me here, officer. Oh, you see, like you just, you just beginning to adjust to the last leg. Come up, come up, come up, come up. Come up, pass the button, pass the button. Amen. Sometimes when you're running relay and the third man is four men and the third man come he take too long to come up glory to God
man if you do if the fourth one if the rules are not broken you run down the lane and get it from him that he may fall before we reach come on somebody you've got the last leg you can't afford for it to drop before your time and when your time comes the third man can help you come on you've got to run your leg same and somebody turn to your neighbor and say get ready for the last leg hold your hand and say take the button i'm gonna lose somebody here come on somebody tell them when i give you i can't help you again if i backslide you can't backslide you're not talking to me you're not working with me you're not working with me with the holy ghost if i talk and say pastor amen you can't backslide come on you've got it right now you're on your own you have got the button i ain't got it no more come on somebody when you're on last leg you are alone no two man run last leg of the relay you are alone you stand alone you are friendless you are tinless come on somebody and somebody want to trip you down the road i'm gonna lose somebody somebody want to hide on the side of the track to put out their foot come on somebody glory to god but you open your big eyes is not only foot you've got to have eyes you don't only move you've got to see come on somebody here see the holy ghost and if they trip you get up come on somebody if they trip you get up if you have to walk walk to the end if you have to creep creep to the end if you have to roll roll to the end my god have mercy but i've seen the finish line come on somebody and i'm going there turn to your neighbor and say last leg hold your hand there's a last leg anointing i'm telling you stand up everybody Hold a neighbor hand. It's a last leg anointing. I'm telling you. It is a last leg anointing. The body of Christ don't understand it. I don't qualify to preach it because it's just something. I, I, I'm telling you, it's just cracking me up right now, Beacon. Come on, I'm telling you, it's just something to see the finish. Right. Folks want to come and tell me to go sideways when I already see the finish line god of mercy yeah come on somebody come on. and they bring everything from a to z to see if i can take my eyes off the finish line but tell them moses been there tell them elijah been there i'm gonna lose somebody here tell them he not been there and, and I am going there. I've got a mansion over the hilltop in that pure land. Hallelujah. My God. My God. Lift your hands, everybody. Receive the word. Receive it. Nobody get around you. No tricks. No mark of the beast. No new style of sin. Gonna get you out of this leading. Lift your hand. It says in Psalm 37, 23, the steps of good men. Lift your hands. Are ordered by the Lord. He said in Proverbs 20, 24, man's goings are of the Lord. How can a man understand his own way? So he said in Proverbs 3, 5 and 6, lift your hands, trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not on thine own understanding in all thy ways. Acknowledge him and he shall direct thy path for he says in jeremiah 10 to 23 the way of man is not in himself to direct his step for he says in proverbs 19 23 many are the devices of a man's heart but the counsel of the lord that shall stand 
For he said in Isaiah 58 and verse 11, I will guide you continually. Lift your hand and praise. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Is the last leg leading? Is the last leg will of God? Is the last leg anointing on your life? Some folks not gonna understand you for you're on the last leg. Lift up your hand into heaven right now and let the Holy Ghost take you over. Let the last leg anointing take you. You don't want to be on the third leg, no second leg, no first leg right now. You want to be on the third leg, the last leg. You want to be on the last leg. Receive it now. Receive it now. Give him praise now. Give him praise now. This anointing is falling upon you. It's going to give you a revelation. It's going to give you a vision. It's going to give you a dream. It's going to give you a word of knowledge. Word of wisdom. Insight. Foresight. Hindsight. God going to speak to you. You're going to hear the voice of God. You're going to hear the voice of God. You're going to walk in his footsteps. the last leg is the last leg I am determined to hold out to the end in your walking evaluate yourself it's my walking last leg when I make that decision hallelujah is that decision last leg? My God of mercy. This thing is so, so major. And my head get clearer. I'm telling you. If you're on last leg, nobody mess around. Come on, nobody mess around. You smile at them because you can't give this man, but you can't give the lead. Some of you, because you, you have the leading, you don't want to smile. No smile. Because that's all they're going to get. You, you, you know what? You know, you know, you know, you know. You know. Oh, I'm feeling this thing right now. Some of you, some of you don't want to let go of nothing. Come on, somebody, let go your host for this leading. You don't, you don't want it. Yeah. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. The devil know you love your host. Come on, somebody. He try to get you to sell out the leading for your house. Come on, somebody. But you're going to tell them what shall it profit a man. Somebody needs to tell the preacher to stop. Uh, if, uh, I'm finished already. I don't know what's going on. What shall it profit a man to gain this world? Somebody here, and the Lord, pardon me, pardon me. I'm not used to it. Glory to God. I just wrote those notes in my office right now. Just 15 minutes, I just wrote it. I'm just getting used to it. Glory to God.